morning everyone it's Clara from Clara Designs I have had some requests to show you just a little bit of how I start the whole design process if you look at this down here this is an example of one of my scarves they usually this is the layout and it usually measures 14 by 68 and as you know most of my scarves are 14 by 70 inches but once you stretch the scarf onto the screen you get two to three inches more so i begin my design of course i know what it is i'm going to do depict this new collection is called home so all of my memories of trinidad and tobago are going to be featured this one is my first design so i do the design on bright white I draw it in pencil first and then I trace over with a black Sharpie pen and I finish the design off to protect the edges by taping it with clear scotch tape. That's to prevent ripping. And of course I do my signature, etc. name the design, date it and everything. And then I stick it to the well of this wooden screen screen the frame then once that is done i stretch the scarf onto the screen beginning with the ends and i as you can see the design is in the well you could see through the scarf but because i'm stretching it comes over the wooden screen and I nail it in with the steel pins. So I do the ends first, then I do the, use the Chinese suspension hooks. These are the blue ones with the three prongs and I use the steel pins to tack them into position. They are equidistant, as equidistant apart as I could possibly get. Now when you're stretching the silk, onto the second side you use the pins and you literally pull it like this and then nail the steel pins in and you go all the way along until you have a nice taut scarf to work on now while i'm talking to you i've had my resist and the stylus the resist is prepared in the application bottle I always use a pin to keep that stylus opening clear so it doesn't clog. So I started already preparing my scarf and as you can see when you're applying the gutta you keep your bottle at an angle and you move along. Right now I have to go on this way. Nope. You gotta choose your position so that you can I like to pull away it is expected that you should pull away from yourself so I'm bending over this and not touching the silk remember the even though my hands are pretty dry you still have residue oil so right now I'm just looking at the angle of the piece and where next I should tackle. Because a lot of, if you can tell with the design, there's a lot of overlay and overlap. So like right here, through the scarf, I could see that there's a piece of this leaf or frond that I missed and I go in and try to make sure I follow the line. And you're always checking yourself, making sure that there are no spaces in the gutter. And there you have it. So here I am, the piece is finished, the gutta is finished being drawn onto the silk and I'm washing out the nib 
and you have to wash the nib out quickly so that you don't have any gutta collecting in the stylus. Now, this is how I do it. It's very hot water with a little soap. I keep rinsing it. These are the two pieces that I'm washing out to make sure no clogging happens. I'm using very hot water and just going back and forth. And you literally can see when the gutta is running out. Especially from the stylus holder. So it's all done. I usually do that twice with this hot water and the stylus of course is very hot. So the final part of the washing out process is simple. You're gonna blow through the hole of the stylus holder like so. And with the pin, you just make sure it's clear. So it goes right through like that. The holder is so much easier. The stylus now, same thing. Now I'm blowing because, and I literally jiggle the pin through to make sure that Guta does not collect in it. Hence the hot water wash. I don't know if you could see that. If you could see the hole, not to worry. The hole is clear. <laughs> Once that's done, you let it air dry for the next, and I just put it away until the next design. So another tool, a straight pin. So now you can see the design. I finished drawing the design on the silk and it will take, even though some parts of the design are already dry, there are some thick areas that are still wet. So I give it overnight and by tomorrow morning I can start painting. And the painting is fairly quickly because I have a good idea as to the colors I'm using and where I'm applying the paint. So check me out tomorrow. Enjoy.